the defense from game one? Kind of what we thought. I think it was a good um, good situation. And we had some veteran guys, and I really felt like our stars played like stars. The guys that you would expect that would play well, played well. Brendan Mott, uh, Des Purnell, Marquis Siegel, Jacob Parrish. Um, I could name others. but And then the guys that were new, that we knew were going to have wide eyes, had wide eyes, I think. And we made some mistakes early. Um, I think as the game went on, they got a little more comfortable, and, and hopefully that's going to be a trend that continues. They just keep getting better and better because we're going to need those guys to get better and better. Toby was obviously incredibly disruptive in the past game, but yeah. what's his next step to become, I guess, more of an every-down player? Yeah, I, you know, I think sometimes he's a little inconsistent with uh, uh, with his footwork and stuff in the run game. You, you bet he can get off the ball and, and be really disruptive and that stuff. And he is a physical player. He's not, you know, it's not like he can't play the run. It's just that's all new to him, you know, and we've got to keep that in mind, the uh, the different things that he sees. Um, obviously, he's been going against our offense in the spring and in fall camp and all those things. Sometimes you see some run schemes that, that our offense doesn't do. And so for him to get some game time in those uh, concepts is a big deal for him. He's just going to keep getting better too. Would you say that Ace Newsom's trending towards being able to play this week? Yeah, he practiced yesterday. Um, so I would, I would expect that he would go. Um, haven't heard of any setbacks today. How about Austin? Is he feeling better? Yeah, he's much better. You know, that was a – a little situation last week that, um, you know, was unfortunate. I, I, I knew if there was anybody that was going to go, he'd go. He's one of the toughest guys I've been around. Tulane's offense, uh, I guess, has one of the better running backs in the group of five, and he's an all-conference player. What stands out about him, and, and how do they sort of get him the ball in those high-leverage yeah, situations? Great contact balance. Um, I think he, he fits their run stuff really well. Um, you know, it's 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 – I feel like we're at a little bit of a disadvantage because of how we played Troy last year. And I think they're very similar personnel-wise to what Troy had, honestly. I think they had a great running back at Troy. They have a great running back here. They had great receivers at Troy. They have great receivers here. Um, I think they're physical up front in both places. Um, so, um, you know, whereas uh, they probably know a little bit more about how we defended them a year ago than we know how they're going to present what they do this year with their new personnel. So that's that's going to be the biggest challenge is getting all that stuff sorted out. Um, but I, I, to go back to your question, not to dodge that, the, 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 he's, he's just a really physical runner with great contact balance, doesn't fumble as far as I – I can't remember the stat, but he had all those carries and touches last year. Not one time did he put it on the ground. Um, you know, I, I, I sometimes they say group of five. He's one of the better ones in the country, I think. How tough of a cover is Mario Williams? Yeah, really fast. I mean – uh, that's going to be the that's going to be the thing is is checking out how our guys match up against against their guys and and um, you know electric fast and and slippery and and good at the top of routes uh, those guys are those guys are really good uh, group of receivers. There any young guys on the K State roster who got in last week you were really pleased with? Boy, that's a great question. Um, going to make me do some digging and thinking. You know, aside from the guys that are in the two deep, is that what you're asking? Yeah, so um, yeah, um, <laughs> it was cool to see. Um, it was cool to see Donovan McIntosh sort through a few things um, at corner. Um, it was it was really cool. I know he's kind of quote unquote in the two deep, but but watching Wesley Fair run around and 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 um, and and fly around and throw his body around was cool. Um, you know, um, Terry Kirksey when he was in there, I thought was a difference maker. Um, you know, so Asher uh, Tomaszewski at, at Nose uh, played uh, quite a bit at the end of the game, and uh, he's another one that, uh, you know, with Uso and Damian, his role is going to be his role this year, but uh, for him to get in there and get some snaps and run around like he did was cool. So um, a lot of positivity from the young guys. One thing I guess I noticed watching Tulane last week was they run a lot of motion, and I don't know if that's more so just for eye candy, but – yeah. What challenges does that present? And yeah, that that's been that's been the the thing this week is, you know, motions, condensed splits, um, variable tempos. Um, really, I have a lot of respect for their offensive staff and 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 how they go about it. I, I think they have a really good idea of what they are trying to do, who they are, uh, what they hang their hat on, and then the variations that come off of that. And yeah, at the end of the day, there's probably not a great volume of different types of run schemes, but they present it in a million different ways and you're never going to know which way it's coming from. So um, 
that's that's part of who they are, and, and I think sometimes in that, that's that's a great way to set up some of their play action shots too. So that's that's going to be the biggest uh, task for our guys is getting aligned. You talked in the past about veteran defensive guys being vocal. How did that translate over to the first game, or is that an area maybe that needs to be improved yeah, no, upon? Yeah, I thought the or? communication was elite. I thought the communication was really good. Um, Tennessee Martin did a great job with uh, a lot of different pictures uh, that we hadn't seen from the, the previous year and formations and shifts and, and uh, a lot of the same type of things, unbalanced things and uh, things that really tested our rules and principles. And to, to watch our guys work together and handle some of those things was, was really fun.